Hello Capricorn, this is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration here for your July of 2019 general reading. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if this does not resonate with your sun, please check your moon and your rising as I continue to put up the remainder of the zodiac for the month of July. Now if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so very much for coming. Thank you for checking this out. I hope you find that this resonates with you. Um, and if you are a returning viewer and or subscriber, thank you very much for continuing to support. And I hope all of you consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell notification by the time we're done today. All right, let's get started and on to the reading. Capricorn. So first of all, I'm using the Star Child Tarot for the main um, cards. So first, coming towards you overall energy i do have the lovers so my cappies that are involved in a relationship this relationship is still here it ain't going anywhere um and it looks like it's kind of turning into potentially a soulmate relationship soulmate type thing the person type of thing um yeah it's not going anywhere um six of wands there's going to be victory by the end of the month everything's going to be in the clear Six of Crystals, which is the Six of Pentacles, tells me you're going to be in abundance with giving, ability with leftover to give. So in the regard in regard to a um, love relationship, if I was to look at that, it would be like you guys have come to a point where you get each other and now you're just kind of going with the flow and it seems rather easy. It looks as if this person or yourself is really wanting to, to have something with you with the Empress. empress but you need to change your perspective a tad bit on yourself, on this relationship, on how you approach it, um, Capricorn, and really kind of clear out the past with the Akashic Records um, card and then close the chapter on the past. Um, kind of like not either, either forgiving this person for past transgressions or like not holding them accountable for someone else's past transgressions. That could be it. So uh, this is rather love-centered. You know, I only do it when, when the cards come out. So I don't know what to tell those of you that are not in a relationship. It is what it is this month. So let's see if I can apply it anywhere else. Okay, energy coming towards you, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Even though I see that you guys are going to be in balance with your significant other or almost significant other, I still feel like there's this level of, there is still an energy of people are still not telling the complete naked bold truth try to do something different and yeah, this that eight of cups been coming up a lot for people this is not the month capricorn to try to hold back okay i think maybe you might be telling yourself a story it could happen i know this whole feelings thing for y'all you know being this is cancerian season and i know cancerian season is difficult for you all and you all are shutting down um, with the Four of Pentacles. So listen, I get it. I know it's hard. Cappy season is a little more difficult for me too because there's not enough feeling in it, right? I'm an emotional person. You're like, where are these emotions? You know, I don't like these emotions. I don't like the change. You know, we'll change on a dime. I don't like the change. I don't like the emotions. I don't like the uncertainty. You know, we both are like that. We do like the stability, right? Um... But with this seven of swords, it's just like the energy coming towards you is what's, what, what's been said or felt in the dark is coming to the light. Yes, there's still secrets. And I think there's still secrets about yourself you just haven't even recognized quite yet. Um, now, with the ten of crystals, though, that's the energy you're bringing to this. I'm proud of you because you're bringing an abundant like, I know everything's going to work out just fine. You are defending your position with the nine of wands. And you are really trying to just wade your way, sail your way, get through all of this darn water energy. You're like, oh, gosh, get me out of this water energy, right? With that nine of wands. Oh, and here's the lovers again. Okay, so, you know, you might find solace with your, with your significant other or soon-to-be significant other. You might find that that's a great port in a storm. For others of you, you're going to have to cut them some slack. And remember the good times that were and not focus in on the rockiness that is now. 
just saying. Uh, what is going to be a problem for you or a potential problem is this three of crystals. You have this expectation of partnership. And the three of cups. You're wondering if other people are not interfering in your relationship. Be they romantic or just speaking on it or just kind of interfering like, you know, hey, you know, you, you don't have to be there all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like just generally interfering. And with this page of pentacles, I also think that you're, you're just like, look, I could be up and out in the wind. Like I could be out of here. Don't worry about it. And while that's somewhat healthy, that's somewhat unhealthy too. Uh, you know, you're kind of like, I can be up and out, right? I can do me, which is going to help you with the nine of crystals. Your level of independence, self-sufficiency does help. But the reason why this page of pentacles to me is an obstacle is because I feel like it's in the obstacle column. I feel like your partner is also trying to help you learn a different, a new interaction, right? A new set of rules of engagement that you didn't sign on for. And you honestly don't particularly care for. So you're like, what's this crap? I'm for it. I'm out. Right? Um, and they're just trying to do it new. They're just trying to do it different. They're trying to fulfill it. Um, but with your you're very self-sufficient with this great and then there's that chariot like I'm out mood mode right what do we have here oh boy okay except for we've got a level of confusion with the seven of cups because the scales are not completely balanced but you want to balance them with the justice card you want to balance them but they are not completely balanced and you don't quite know how to do that and you know, with this three of wands, I find this one interesting in the mythic tarot. Because this gentleman has recognized this young man is like the next king or whatnot, right? Or he, and he's like thrilled because, you know, the prophecy has been fulfilled. And I think that you really do feel like the prophecy has been fulfilled with this person. Like this is your one. And you have to remember that, and that's what's gonna that's another thing that's gonna help you. Scales aren't always going to be balanced. Some people are gonna put in more than others, but eventually it all does work out. Trust me, it really does. Eventually they balance out. Outcome or advice, outcome is ace of cups. Again, renewed, renewed commitment, a cup overflowing, happy, love, 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 peace with the four of swords. Love, peace, and hair grease. You know, I don't know. I just, I think, I feel like it's going to work out, but you're going to have to, um, you know, if you're being kind of CSI about things, you know, side eyeing with the seven of swords, um, it's really time that you're going to have to do it different with the eight of cups and, and try not to be quite as closed off. I do see that that's the energy coming towards you, but I do believe you have within you what it's going to take in order to say, you know what, a lot of this is my own crap and I need to own that and I need to work on it and then I need to push forward because a lot of this is mine. It doesn't even belong to them. And so you're going to stop putting it off on them and actually take care of it yourself so that the two of you can grow. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. Now, if you hang on just for a couple seconds more, I've got a quick spot right here for the tarot classes. They're about to start very shortly. So do watch that spot. If you wish to work with me, go to heartofinspiration.net to book any personal readings and or Reiki energy um, healing or clearing um, sessions. Okay, and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video and hit that bell so you know when I put out new content or I come on live. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye. Tarot classes start July the 20th. Learn to read tarot for only $297. Register at www.heartofinspiration.net now.